Hey everyone, it's Rebecca and I'm coming to you here from my home library and today I'm sharing with you what homeschool curriculum we use, Science Edition. So I get asked very often when people find out we homeschool what homeschool curriculum we use and honestly it's just a variety. We've used a lot of different things over the years and so I'm going to show you some of the things that we've used for science and tell you how we've liked those. So I'm a homeschooling mom to four kids. My oldest has already graduated, and now I have an 11th grader and a 7th grader and a 5th grader that I'm homeschooling this year. And we've been homeschooling all along, so this is our 15th year of homeschooling. So uh, first of all, I want to tell you, if you are getting started and you've got younger, small kids, so please don't feel like that you need to get an actual curriculum and spend a lot of money on something for science for them. You definitely don't. You can go to the library, pick out books on animals. You can take them on nature walks. Um, just walk around outside your house and talk about things in nature. Look at animals. Look at the stars. Look at trees and show them the bark. And um, that can be their science for the day. You know, they don't have to have anything specific. Also, um, Pinterest is a great resource. You can look at fun act activities on there. Um, that's some stuff that I did when my kids were little. But I am going to show you some of the books and things that we have used in case that you're wanting to buy something and have an actual in-hand book to work with with them. So first of all, this is um, this is Christian Liberty Press's Nature Readers. This is, um, I actually have three of them. I have like a kindergarten, a first and a second grade book when my oldest daughter was younger um i kind of started her out with these this is the kindergarten one and it just has uh, for every letter of the alphabet it's got a different animal and it's literally just these two pages that you read to them about alligators and then the next day you've got b is for beetle and you read to them about that and so you can take this and you can um you know grab some coloring pages online or some activities on Pinterest and do some fun stuff with them like that. If you're already studying the alphabet, it kind of goes right along with it. And I just thought it was just a really fun little book to work with with them. And then the first and second grade little readers, they just go into a little more detail about the different animals. Um, this one's about a beaver dam. A few pages on that. They've got the robin, the ant, and they just tell them lots of facts about that. And the second book is the same way. So those are really good. Um... <clears throat> Any type of just fun little experiments are so good to do with kids. Like I said, uh, Pinterest again, check out stuff there. This is a book somebody gave me and it's just got some fun little activities you can do just to kind of give you some ideas. Those are fun. But, um, you know, let them be their own scientists. Give them some little safety goggles. Grab them some baking soda and vinegar out of the cabinet. Let them make some fun little volcanoes. Uh, you can do so much with baking soda, vinegar, cornstarch, food coloring, just things like that. And just let them play with it and have a good time. Those are some, some really great resources. Another thing we're using this year is this little devotion book by Louis Giglio. It's How Great Is Our God. It's actually a devotion book, but each one has, it talks about little science concepts with it. They go along with the Bible. And we've really been enjoying this. Sometimes it'll have something in there and we'll want to know more about it. And so we'll look up a video on YouTube. And so that's really fun. This is the Berenstein Bears, the big book of science and nature. This was a great book. Um, I got this when my younger kids were smaller. It talks about the seasons. It talks about different animals, weather. Um, it's just really fun. I don't know. Uh, my kids really liked reading the Berenstein Bears and watching the little videos and stuff. So we enjoyed this book. I got this off of christianbook.com. I'll put a link down below for that. Um, that's where I order most of my um new books that I would get like this and so it's a great resource to find things like this. Um, also just finding little readers like if we were going to be studying about volcanoes or something that year I would try to find them stuff that would go along with this like this is just something you used that I found. Another great resource is Osborne Books. Um, their books have just such great pictures and stuff. Uh, this one's Sun, Moon, and Stars. So when we were learning about astronomy, I got them one of these books to go along with it. They also have these great um, look inside books. Love them. Like this is the look inside your body. So it's really fun. It's got the little guy here and you can see his muscles and you can see his skeleton. And these are just really fun, just really great for kids, kind of hands-on learning concept. And then they had one 
that is the encyclopedia of the human body. Now, I will say they, they um, have an evolutionary perspective. We teach um, science through a creationist perspective. So just keeping that keep that in mind if you do use some of these books. Um, also, these are really fun. They're called Draw Right Now, and they have these. Um, they have a lot of different varieties of these books, but this one is specifically on animals, and you can draw the animal. So it's basically like drawing, handwriting, and it'll have some little facts about the animals in there. So it's really fun. You can see that. And then also we really enjoyed this, the Science Chef. So it just has like some fun little recipes like this is a salad dressing it's got popcorn it's got toast it's got all kind of stuff and it tells you like the science behind making those um making those recipes so that's really fun that one's from christian book also um so those are kind of more like elementary age ideas and stuff um this is going to be moving into upper elementary um and middle school this was a fun chemistry book i I think somebody gave me this book. I really don't remember. I might have bought it used. Christ Christian kids explore chemistry. My boys really like chemistry. So this was just fun. It was really kind of easy to read through. And then would have little fun experiments in it. And they enjoyed that. So that one. Then uh, these are great for. I especially like these when my older kids were kind of getting into middle school or upper elementary and I still had younger kids. These are the Apologia series. The um, It's called the Young Explorer series and each one is based off a different day of creation. So this is the flying creatures. We have the, this one is botany. Then we've got anatomy and then we've got land animals and I believe they also have marine animals and so these were just really great books like you just read through a section in it and then it will have little um, things you can do at the end it's gonna have um, let's see try this it'll tell you different things you can try little fun activities it's got to map it what do you remember so they want them to talk to you back kind of narrate back what um, you've read to them got different animal tracks here and then notebooking activities so they can create their own notebook and have stuff they've learned through the year and then it's got an experiment um so yeah they just just really good like i said we've enjoyed these we did some of these with our homeschool co-ops and stuff too and it was just really great really great to do as a group um and that's really these are more geared toward like middle school upper elementary age all right, and then this is another chemistry book. This was, I believe, it's around seventh grade, seventh, eighth grade age, um, and uh, it's called Elements of Faith, and it, each lesson talks about a different element and um, and talk, just gives you the breakdown of the element and the, the history behind them and the different stuff. So um, my, uh, I think my son was seventh grade when he did this. He really enjoyed it. At the end, it's gonna have, you've got experiments, experiments back here you've got quizzes and I think it, it even has like the it's got a final exam it's got the table of elements here periodic table and um and so it's kind of an all-in-one book because I think it's even got the answers in the back here but this was really great he really loved this and learned a lot out of it uh, my kids play Minecraft so there's a lot of elements and stuff in there and I think it I think that's one reason they enjoy chemistry so this is actually what we're doing this year um, this is Master Books, and um, I can't remember if I said that. This is Master Books also. Um, this is Master Books, and this is their General Science One: Ocean Astronomy, Weather, and Mineral. And so this is a one-year curriculum. These books are about 90 pages or so each, and so you can do them, you know, each in a nine-week session or whatever. And I really love Master Books because it has in here in the front it has a whole schedule it tells you exactly what to do on what day what to read what activity to do what quiz to do and then you can check it off on the side so it's really good this has got all your quizzes all your questions all your extras in there for that we've really just been reading it and discussing it and then we will um oftentimes look up like a youtube video like this one we were learning about um we were learning about diamonds the other day, and so we looked up the diamond mine that it was talking about in here, and that was really fun because um, just kind of get some more info on it. So YouTube is also, it's just a great resource. You know, you can 
uh, look up a 10 minute video and get so much information and you can kind of see it you know and that's pretty cool so my uh my kids have been loving these these also come with like a little um poster in the back that goes with it and that's really good so really fun so moving into some of the high school stuff this is another master books curriculum we really like them for science this is their astronomy curriculum for high school so it comes with all these books and two dvds and um it's the same thing it's going to have your schedule in there and uh telling you what i'll do your tests and quizzes and that sort of thing and our kids my kids did this with um their uh homeschool co-op so they even you know had some days where they would go out or nights actually that they had some nights where they would actually go out and study the stars and look at them together um with some friends that had like a telescope and stuff so it's a great curriculum like i said once again great pictures it's all from a creationalist perspective so we really enjoyed that and then this is just apologia again this is the apologia this is their um high school biology um, my kids did this with their co-op as well and got to do some fun experiments with that and stuff. So, so if you have a homeschool co-op in your area that um, does like science for high school, I highly recommend that because I think it's great that they get to do their sciences with other kids and do experiments and things like that. And so this is um, this is chemistry. My son is doing it this year. This is a uh, Berean Builders is the name of this and uh, discovering design with chemistry so we haven't used a lot of this particular curriculum but it's been really good and um he's doing good with that so um so that's all i really have um those are just a variety of things that we've used over the years so as i said earlier i order most of my stuff through christianbook.com i have for the last 15 years they're a great company they will often send you a coupon in your email for free shipping when you spend like $35 or more and so that's a great deal they have sales throughout the year and um, so I use mainly use them I buy stuff used from friends or off of Facebook marketplace and then I use thrift books for more like reading books and stuff um, I haven't noticed they have a whole lot of actual curriculum sometimes they do but it can be hard to find and um, but I usually usually most of that for like reading books and stuff like that so so I hope you've enjoyed this video on seeing the different science curriculums that we've used over the years and the ones that we've liked. And I hope you find what works for your family. I know it can be extremely overwhelming when you're looking at curriculum and trying to decide what to get. But just try different things and see what works for you and your family. I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for watching.